So here I was, warned to record as soon as I got onto my server and got back to the base. It seems that Koryanshe has left me a little bit of a gift, and he wanted me to record it. Hey, Vagram, I would really appreciate it if you'd record opening the chest. You're welcome, your buddy, Koryanshe. He's left me a whole bunch of atomic crystals. Silk Touch does not work on these, unfortunately. He knew. Whoop, took out the floor. Didn't know my own strength. He knew that I've been interested in getting into Domcraft. Oh my gosh. And he's been working on a mana bean farm, apparently. Aura nodes, aura nodes. Wow. Realized you're planning on doing some Domcraft stuff soon. I thought I realized I never got you a proper gift. Therefore, I got you this chest. In this chest, you'll find one of each type of mana bean. Do it with it as you please. Also, seven pure aura nodes. Grinded a bunch of silverwood trees to get those. Enjoy. Well, isn't that nice of him? Uh, that is a kickstart if I will ever say so myself. Wow. One of every single type. Well, thank you very much. So, as you may have noticed, I have overhauled the green space in here. This is the lower level, where my witchery room is. I've had to expand it out because I've discovered that witchery is very dependent upon nature in the area. we got one tree to grow here. I put some more vertical tree trunks in here to kind of give it a monolithic, kind of a headstone feel. And if you'll notice now, I have a wither skull in here to accompany my altar, and it's now up to 3,000. Uh, stone doesn't count. Stone does not do anything for your altar. What I've discovered is it has to be grass and origin grass, which is what I had in here, doesn't work. The more grass blocks you have, grass, flowers, trees, wood, and natural substances, leaves, moss, all that stuff helps towards your total count, which is why I'm over 3,000 now. So what I thought was I've got my handy dandy flying ointment. Basically, all I did was brew it in the kettle. This is wool of bat, belladonna, feather, Redstone soup, we did that last episode. Potion of swiftness and diamond. I put it over there. You just toss the ingredients in like a Thomcraft cauldron. And while that's, I had that piece of wood lit, so it was burning. And then you just right click it with an empty glass uh, potion vial, potion flask, and that's it. So I have that. Uh, let's see. I have at least 3,000 power. I know I need that. Now I need to go check and see if it's nighttime. And I tell you what, it's about time that we... Oh, gosh. Oh, no, no, no. Stop. Thank you. There's a glitch block there or something, and I can't do anything about it. I think... Uh, let's... this back and it is nighttime hooray which means we can go back over here <laughs> we now what I have to do is basically drop this in the middle of this circle drop this and I right click Hmm. Hang on just a second. Okay, here we are back again. Uh, I have two circles here for our circle magic. I accidentally blocked over those when I put some leaves down. I thought I left space, but they got eaten by the leaves. So I had to basically kind of kill the leaves under there and redo some of the greenery in order to get my altar back up over 3,000. Lost about 200 points clearing that out and rearranging some of the logs. Um, I have discovered there's a max range of greenery that these will detect, and it stops right about under where that is, that beam. So, uh, yeah, uh, probably like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, maybe four blocks up, maybe five. But it does go about 10 or 15 out, something like that. It detects real far because it picks up this piece of wood right here, and it counts it towards the total. So, yeah... I think I've got the problem solved, though. Basically, this is a 7x7 seven seven circle. 
It's seven across, seven across. And then this one is an 11 by 11. There is another one that is, I want to say it's 17 by 17 or 15 by 15, but there's a size larger. This is the small and medium circle. There is a large one. And then I have this little glyph right here. What I'm doing is I'm waiting for it to be night. And once it's night, we are going to toss our broom and our flying ointment, which is basically, like I said, redstone soup, potion of swiftness, diamond, belladonna flower, and wool of bat with a feather. All that is just thrown into the kettle. You put a fire under the kettle and right click it with a bucket of water, toss all those things in, and then right click it with a glass flask, and you'll get your flying ointment. I did the same thing to make the redstone soup. That's tongue of dog. I had to go to the uh, Twilight Forest to get those, but I found some in the uh, hedge mazes in the Twilight Forest. Killed a whole bunch of dogs, got tongues. They're wolves, technically, but still. Um, wool of bat, mandrake root, belladonna, drop of luck. And drop of luck you have to make. Uh, that's why I had to go get gas tears from Bebo's last episode. So, um, yeah, I think it counts as dark now. So I'm going to toss that in there. Toss that in there. And there we go. Pick up our broom. And let's go outside, shall we? I'm going to... Now this thing is a little weird to control from what I've heard. Yeah, it's nighttime, all right. We put that right there. Right click on it. We mount it. So it's got a little bit of inertia, and you basically have to look where you're going. It is a little strange from what I've heard. You actually can get an owl familiar and use it with the. Whoa. Yeah, this thing's a little hard to control. Apparently, you can get an owl familiar and witchery, and the owl familiar will actually give you a whole bunch more control of this broom. So it's basically a form of flight. I have hands off. I'll clap. Hands off right now. I'm not doing anything. I'm just hanging in the air. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's a little strange. So, we have a broom. Now, let's see if I can get it to go back to our base. It just kind of drifts around. And at any given point, if I hit shift and dismount, it keeps going. And you just break it and get it back. So we've got our handy dandy enchanted broom. Now there's another thing that's very cool about the broom also. Uh, it cleans up messes very nicely. Let's go in here. These runes are actually kind of hard to get rid of. You see, even a pickaxe. But with a broom... Boom. Left click. That's just a ritual chalk that I'm doing right there. Now, I highly suggest that anybody that's looking to do a lot of the more advanced stuff like this in witchery, you make yourself a witchcraft circle magic book. That's basically a book, whiff of magic, ink sack, feather, and belladonna flower. Whiff of magic is what you get from rowan saplings in the witch's oven, and that comes from mutandus, like we went over last episode. So, the broom is a little hard to control, but I guess the next task would be actually getting an owl familiar. I'm not sure how hard that is, but I'm going to do some research into it. So, yeah, this is um, uh, ritual chalk right here. This is golden chalk. You use it a little bit less. 
and uh, basically there are specific sizes and the symbols are randomized. They, these don't matter. The only thing that is critical is basically you get the size right and the number of symbols in what order. And uh, the symbols themselves don't matter, just where they are and the distance. And the very center is where you put this golden chalk. Then there's certain rights where you'll throw certain things in. Uh, this refers to different kinds of chalk. I'm still figuring that one out. Infernal Animus, it's Rite of Infusion. There's um, Rites of Summoning and Banishing. Uh, Earth's Wrath, Sky's Wrath, Call Focus Lightning Storm Inside the Circle. Uh, Raise a Volcano, Lava Pool Must Lie Below. That looks really nasty. Um, outside the Circle, you can surround the circle with actual... Uh, Lightning, Storm, that's nasty. Sky's Wrath. Uh, total Eclipse, you can block out the sun. I'm not sure what good that is, but... Broken Earth, part the Earth, the, focus, uh, the position of the foci controls the direction. So you have to make a lot of these, or what you're basically throwing into the middle of the circle. Just like I threw a broom and a flying ointment in the middle of the circle to make an enchanted broom. So, I think this is really cool. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with Witchery. It is far more in-depth than I thought it would be. And that's very, very cool. So, I'm very impressed with that. Um, I think next I'm going to go see what kind of trouble we can get into. So, uh, this marks the end of Season 1, which came to a close far too quickly. We decided to take a vote and end Season 1 with a map reset and updating to a new version of Resident Rise. This is just a quick capture of some of the... Uh, base that Aiko made, and I tried to do others, but the server wasn't cooperating. And even now, you can see I'm having rendering problems because the server can't keep up. Season 2 tarts, starts tomorrow, and this marks the lost footage from Season 1. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.